Hello and welcome. This is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more River City Ransom, continuing on with the martial arts playthrough where I attempt to get every martial art in the game. Right now, I only have one, and currently, because I'm playing on advanced difficulty, which we just <laughs> saw a nice showcase of how difficult advanced difficulty can be, I am mostly just grinding up stats. Uh, as I have had a lot of trouble with uh, staying alive and not getting my the crap kicked out of me. And there's a definite rough start. The jocks sometimes just like to just kick the living crap out of me to show me that they can. Right, that was a flash of possible danger. Come down here a little bit. Try and get them separated a little bit. There we go. Alright, that looks like it. So, back. Working on strength. Now, it looks like the strength is starting to pay off. And we'll get a little bit more here. That should put me at... I think it was... This should put me at 39 at this point. And... Maybe one more of those and we'll start to see... A benefit. Normally I would not fight the frat guys, but I do. Yeah, see, they're still able to block me pretty effectively. that guy off. All right. I'm kind of getting to that point where I don't want any more of these guys. <laughs> really hate the frat guys. Jocks I don't know so much as hate as understand that they're they're dangerous. Just because of he, I think he knocked me back into that wall, is or fence or whatever it's supposed to be. Didn't do a lot of damage to me, but it did knock me down, which could have been dangerous. Uh, I meant to turn around and throw him. Let's go get the coin while it's still there. Okay, that should looks like it's it. All right, looking at my status. So, we almost have defense and strength above 40. So this time, depending on where my money is at, I might actually try and get... I think I'm still gonna go with the strength here. But I'm also gonna get a little bit of punch power here as well, as that is our, my primary attack right now, considering that I only have stone hands out of all the martial arts I could have, and hopefully we're now at the point where I can start trying to try and get another martial art again. Well, that went excellent. They somehow still managed to beat the living crap out of me there. I only have 50 cents in the bank account, so it's not that big of a deal if I die here. There's always the risk. Especially with the frat guys, as we just demonstrate there, that they can throw a weapon hard enough to kill their own... ...gang members. So I don't want any part of that. Now, this guy I have fought many times. And... I think I've gotten the formula down. I do enough damage to him, and if I stay on top of him and I time everything right, it's not really able to danger us too much. I don't know if I ever did figure out what the, uh... Garlic Pork here did. I 
didn't have enough money to get it last time, don't have enough money to get it this time, and last time I died before I could find out, and loading in with some frat guys right up in your face is never a good way. To start. Okay, now we have the boss. Timing and he's down. Now we can afford the garlic pork and find out what it does. So it shouldn't be weapon or throw because there's already a Chinese food that does that, that we've discovered. So far, the only thing that's really been useful has been the uh, chow mein, which gives me kick power. One of the few instances you can get kick power in the game. Let's try the garlic pork here, find out what it does. Weapon. Could have swore that that's the same thing that fried rice did. Okay, so pretty much everything in the Chinese restaurant is completely useless except for chow mein. And that is kind of the case with the game. Most of the uh, food in the game gives you either weapon or throw to the least useful stats. I think one thing I'm going to try here is I'm going to go in here and if we can afford it... Uh, we can't even afford the scandal wreck. I think the scandal wreck gives me defense. Uh, not that I necessarily need it. I think it gives me some other stats as well. But we're not quite at 40 defense. So, trying the boss one more time. We'll start trying out these uh, magazines just because they seem to give decent stat increases when you read them. Finish this guy off. The AI does kind of, like, forget what it's doing when you're above them, but when they're above you, they don't have any problem. It just, that's the one kind of deficiency with the AI of this game, is when you jump up on something, they don't know what to do, but when they're up on something, they're fine, and they'll jump down on you and cause problems if you're not ready for it. All right, so... As I said, I think the Scandal Rag gives me defense, which I definitely want. Uh, Comic Times might be interesting to get too, though, but we'll just get the Scandal Rag for now. now. I'm not getting any health out of this, I don't think. But it's still worth experimenting and getting some stats out of it. And I believe the magazines, they're just going to be raw stats. It might actually be a good thing for me, just figuring out what gives me... Uh... Okay, so... Defense up, willpower up. Alright, and that's it. That's a uh, rare instance of me getting uh, willpower. So, hopefully I can continue to grind. And this guy will eventually go down, I'm thinking. Alright, I have to watch out for the throw that might be coming my way. I killed the one guy with his buddy. Alright, here's the boss. Again, just do the same formula. Just stay on top of him. Make sure we pick him up, not the weapon. There we go. Alright. I'm assuming we have enough for another magazine here. So... Go ahead and get Comic Times, see what that does. I would assume Willpower, because it'd be your mood. In a more positive place. But we'll have to find out. Weapon up, we don't need that. Defense is good, Willpower up. Alright, so Willpower is the thing that it helped the most, which is what I ex expected it to do. The Weapon Power, not so much. Uh, again, don't really need weapon power. So let's continue to grind. Ow, ow. There was no real advantage or disadvantage of me leaving. Uh, but right now I'm on death's door. I can just kick the box. Might be able to kick it into him and stop the blockchain. 
There we go. Wow, I'm surprised I didn't go down there, because I think that brass knuckle hit me in the back. And he did his stupid run-punch nonsense. I could have killed myself there. Oh, he ran away, so now it's boss time. Alright. Boss defeated. And it's probably food time rather than getting the magazine. Although, let's see how much money we have. Because I could just die and come back. But I don't even have money for food, really. Not any food that would actually help me. If we were over at the, the sushi place, I'd be able to get sushi that would be helpful. But here, the Chinese food's too expensive, and I know the egg roll doesn't do jack for me. Anything that I would actually want. I guess we can go over here. I, uh, it's possible the side orders are cheap and might give me stats that I want, so let's find out. So we'll get some Merv fries. No, we want to eat it now so we know what it does. So stamina, it just does. Okay. We'll have some Merv rings. Should be able to afford a fair number of these, so it's not a big deal either way. We'll get to figure things out. So strength up, good. That's pretty cheap for the, sh the strength upgrade. Okay, apple pie. And we'll eat that here too. Agility up, okay, that's a rare instance of agility. All right, so we'll have to see what the chili does, but so far Merv rings seem to be very cost effective. And of course we'll take the free smile. All right. I don't think the drinks do anything other than just give me stamina, which is not necessarily something we're looking for. So, uh, actually, grinding out strength from the, the sides at Merv sounds like a really good idea. I should have actually gone for that earlier, because I knew about the, the chicken place and how that is a good place to use the, uh, what they call fixings at that particular place, to get your stats up, because they're cheap and they give you a fair uh, amount I mean, they give you good stats, strength, defense, things like that, that are harder to find for not a lot of money. So, the only thing we've found so far, though, is strength, and that is something that we already have a ton of, but as I said, it's something we need because it's how you break through people's blocks. So let's go to Merv's and continue with that. So out of the sides, the only thing left was spicy chili. We'll see what that does. Okay. Defense up. Okay. I don't know if that's as cost effective as the uh, eel, I think it was, over at uh, Sushi Place because it was like three something and you got uh, two. Uh, defense rather than one, so, uh, definitely the ring, the onion rings are, uh, worthwhile. Because one strength for 150 is pretty nice. As a matter of fact, it gives me, uh, more health than the, uh, egg did at the sushi place, uh, but that gave me punch, not, uh, Frank, but I tried to dodge, but when you have two weapons being thrown at you at once, it's kind of hard to dodge them both. Go. Now it should be boss time, so we don't pick up the weapon by accident, throw off the timing, there we go. All right. Well, I'll get some more uh, onion rings here, but it's probably going to be at that point where we can grind in the direction of actually accumulating money here rather than losing it. So I'm just going to take one onion ring. You know, another thing I should try is just see what the burgers do uh, if they help me with any stats. So just try a normal plain Mer burger. 
I have a feeling it's just going to be stamina, but uh, not sure. Okay, so weapon up, we don't really care about. Yeah, very not... Uh, that's super bad as far as a cost-effective standpoint because it gave me crap health and it uh, gave me a stat I really don't want uh, for more money than the onion rings would have cost me. So that is, you know, again, with the fast food places... Okay, so I got guys on either side of me. You don't like that. That's where the jocks can be dangerous uh, as they come from either side and get behind you and wreak, wreak havoc. All right, here we go. All right. I definitely took damage there. I'm going to continue exploring the sandwiches because they're cost effective, uh, at least compared to the Chinese food. And if I can find one that gives me good stats, uh, I should uh, focus on that, obviously. Because the only other thing that we found uh, so far is uh, strength. And I would like to find other useful uh, stats. The throw power. So weapon and throw is terrible. And again, the amount of health I got from that too. Uh, not really cost effective. Because I could have gotten more out of the onion rings uh, for a lot less. Alright, well hopefully the other burgers are not weapon or throw. Alright. Get hit by your own box. Ow. See, that's kind of bullcrap in and of itself, the fact that they spawn off the screen and then throw something at you. Come on. You know you want it. Fortunately, their defense, the frat guy's defense, is bad, but they run around so much that oftentimes it's hard to hit them anyway. All right, so we have a couple more burgers to try out. Now, I know I've already tried a lot of these burgers, but I just, I honestly don't remember what they do. I do know that the, the drinks only gave me uh, stamina so that I know I can stay away from those. I seem to remember the fish was good, but I could be wrong. Okay, so agility, again. Nice to see, but we're not necessarily going for that. We'll try the Mondo Merv next. I don't remember that being a good one, though. Comparatively. Gotta watch out. With all the throwing that's gonna happen here. Going up and down will keep the throws less dangerous. Ow. Dodge that. Now the boss. We got a lot of clutter around him, though. That's not what I want. I'm dead. Yeah, see, that's a problem. When you got a lot of clutter like that, you always run that risk. Well, we definitely want to go over there again. All right, I'm just going to run. Might as well at least go into the mall. So I did lose money I didn't want to lose there. We were building it up and to lose money like that. Not great. Get continuously hit by these guys. Oh, I thought he had a weapon. I was trying to dodge the weapon throw that I thought was coming. Now let's see what the other sandwich does. And if it's worth the price. Otherwise, I'll just stick with the onion rings. All right? Willpower. All right. Well, that's not necessarily a bad thing to get willpower, but 
not what I'm working, looking for at the moment. Alright, well, we definitely see now what we need to grind. It's the onion rings to get that strength all the way up to its maximum of 63. So we only need to do that 20 times and then we're at maxed out. And that will really help us break through the intense blocking that we're seeing from our opponents. In any case, I think this is a good point to put a cut in the video. So as I normally do, I'm going to end with the password here so you guys can copy it down. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.